Good morning, good afternoon, or just good day. As you can see today, we have ample reason to be excited. We opened up the Vaporeon VMAX Premium Collection Box uh, maybe like a week or two ago. And as you can see, we did manage to find the Flareon VMAX box. Still trying to find the Jolteon box. Um, these were up to like $100 on eBay. And with the uh, the reprints or the re-release or whatever that happened at Walmart, it seems like it went back down to 60 So with it only being $20 above MSRP, I was like, all right, let's do it. Pull the trigger. Hopefully we can do the same thing and find one of the... Uh, the Jolteons, I couldn't think for a second. Uh, and then we can open all three of them. You know, we'll have a video for each, but I figured we also have a little warm up for today. Just a single Darkness Ablaze pack. I can get it open. Gotta whip the scissors out. <clears throat> so a little warm up, maybe we can get a quick pull to start the video off. Get us all hyped up and excited to move on to our Flareon box, but we'll see. Code card is out. All right, here we go. Let's get a fire. Now we are looking to pull that Charizard VMAX. That would be the chase card of the set. We have a Flaffy. We have an Eridos. A Familiar Bell. We have a Bounce Sweet, a Dunsparce, an Electrike, a, Mol a Galarian Mr. Mime. We have a Grimer, a Reverse Skitty, and a Dracovish. Dracovish Hollow for the rare. Dracovish Hollow. Sleeve that up. So, first hit of the day. First kind of hit, half hit, quarter hit, something like that. It is just a Hollow. So. That's that. Thought maybe we could pull something bigger out of that, but it was only one pack, so whatever. Find out which side wants to open, huh? Alright, here we go. Get that out. Get this box out. Take this cover off. beautiful set beautiful cards you know these alt art promo cards are so amazing like you can't you can't beat this like okay how did they put these in take that off take this off and we're just gonna let it drop out Definitely don't want to force anything. Definitely don't want to break anything. Don't want to rip anything. And here is our jumbo. So we'll put our jumbo in our jumbo binder as one does. Do this real quick before we forget. This is also for sure going to probably end up being a jumbo that we get graded at some point in the future. I'm not sure exactly when that'll end up being, but just like the Vaporeon one and just like our Celebrations Pikachus. Uh, those are definitely going to be cards that we get graded. Same thing with these. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at the crease in this Flareon. What? What happened? You guys see that? Oh, that sucks. This card was literally like bent in half. That's heartbreaking. That is so heartbreaking. How does that even happen, man? This card looks pretty good. It's definitely not bent in half. 
Oh man, that sucks. That's sad. That's so upsetting. Well, I was going to send them both in. We'll probably still send this one in. Take a look at it under our jeweler's loop. But man, that really kind of just killed my whole vibe. <sighs> Flareon pin. Can't forget about our pin. And six packs. Put our code card on the side, leave a comment, and we can send that out to you. So for our packs, we have a Fusion Strike. We have an Evolving Skies. We have a Vivid Voltage. A Fusion Strike. Oh, and a Chilling Rain and a Rebel Clash. Wah, wah, wah. Nobody cares about Rebel Clash. What's the best card in the set, Giovanni? Let's just open this real quick. I keep glaring over. Oh, wow, that's a new way to open it. I keep glaring over to that Flareon VMAX. I'm a little heartbroken right now. Like, I'm actually a little upset. Like, a little bit of a lot of upset, actually. I've never had... I, have you guys ever had a card in a sealed product that showed up like that? That's horrible. Like, that's not just, like, some bullshit, like, water. That's, like, a serious, like... Hatterene. We have a car, car coil. We have a Beware, we have a Voltorb, we have a Nose Pass, a Wingle, a Phantom, Bronzer, we have a Hatterim in the reverse, and a Galarian Rugius, or Rungius, something like that. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's move into the real packs. We're starting off with Fusion Strike. Starting to get up there for our favorites. Uh, it's not Brilliant Stars, obviously. Brilliant Stars is still on top for what our favorites are. But Fusion Strike is definitely getting up there. We have pulled the Espeon uh, VMAX, the Secret Rare Alt Art uh, Psychic. We have pulled the Celebi a couple of videos ago, Alt Art. Farewell Bell, Low Punny. We have a Hariyama, a Dreepy, a Makitu. A Makita, a Rickety, Galarian Duracama, Sizzlepeed, a Pansier Reverse, oh, and another Genesec. We got another Genesec full art. We just pulled one of these the other day, man. Wow. Now we got two of them. If I had a second full art, though, out of any card, this is like literally my favorite full art ever out of anything. This is such a cool card. I would love to get the Genesec alt art, but this is such a cool card. I'm still, I'm so, like, I want to cry about this. <clears throat> Maybe I can message him and say something, but. Are they supposed to be this sticky even? Bro, this is super sticky. Because how is that card bent, like, inside of the box? <clears throat> hmm. Like, literally, I mean, did Pokemon bend that, putting it in there? Or, like, am I getting, like, is something sketchy happening? <clears throat> Pulling our code card out. Alright, one pack down, one hit. One decent hit, full art, pretty decent hit. Um, metal leaf. We have a beware, beware of the bear, Skaters Park. We have a low punny, a Galarian Zigazoon, a Mankey, a Clawcher. We have a Growlithe, a Snuffle, Fusion Strike Energy in the reverse, and the Cloister. A Cloister coming around to mess your day up, that's for sure. Chilling Rain is up next. Chilling Rain or as they used to call it, Chilling Pain, which it seems like there's like a, actually a decent number of cool cards in the set. Was it just bad pull rates? Is that why it was Chilling Pain? Because uh, it's not like a bad set, I don't think. 
especially looking at it now like it seems like there's like a decent amount of cool cards in here but i don't know um fire water we have a Kalara, a haunter flannery a hero cross a seafull cast form sunny form a hatina a rock rough a kirla in reverse and a Volcanion V. We got a Volcanion V. Our second V card. This time just a normal V, not a full art. But we'll take it. We will take it. Down to our last two packs. Let's do Evolving Skies last. You gotta do Evolving Skies. Am I still recording? Yeah, okay. You gotta do Evolving Skies last, am I right? Getting a phone call, I'm gonna have to call him back. Hopefully it's not too important. I'm sure it will be. All right, let's get through these. We have a Psychic Energy. All right, we got a Sableye, a Galvantula, a go goat, a drill bird. We're looking for a chunk of chew, a whalemer, cottonine, a clopopus, an electrike, a mightyena, reverse, and a lucario. Lucario, regular, non hollow, rare. All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm getting called again. I'm gonna have to quick roll this real quick. Let's see what we can get. Can we get a hit out of Evolving Skies? One of the best sets of the Sword and Shield era. Uh, fire. Psychic again. Hippodowan. Xeana's Resolve. We got a Dream Ball. A Baggin. A Lillipup. A C Dot. A Pikachu. A Tentacool. A Lombre. And just a Reggie Lecky. A holla Regilecki, but just a Regilecki nonetheless. So we ended up with a hollow from our Darkness of Blaze pack, a hollow just now, a Volcanion V, a full art Genesec V, one of the coolest full arts in my opinion, a beautiful Flareon V alt art card, and a card that is literally going to haunt my nightmares. I was so excited to get this box, man, and to have this big crease on it is just like I'm so upset right now. But hey, what are you going to do? You know, I guess that's just how it goes. Maybe I'll get a new one. If I do, I'll send, I'll send this one out. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now you know what comes inside the Flareon VMAX Premium Collection Box. I was super excited to open it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until tomorrow, we'll see you then. So I usually try to uh, make all my videos one cut. Um, I'm not great at editing, so I'm gonna like, I'll figure this out, but this is it. We just finished uh, recording the video and I'm taking a further inspection at everything, right? So we we have like, this is our crease card, right? Um, it does seem to be a little more creased than we thought originally. Uh, it is definitely creased like all the way through both sides. And there really shouldn't be any way for that to happen with it being in the packaging that it's in. This is the first side that I kind of open also. This is like what these packages are supposed to look like when you open them up, right? So I go over to this side and uh, this sticky stuff that I was playing with and uh, the tape, it does seem to be like a double-sided tape. I mean, you guys can see that. Um, I don't know, I'm probably not gonna post this right away. Uh, like I wanted to, I'm, I messaged the seller. Uh, I got it from Troll and Toad, uh, which kind of sucks because they're supposed to be like super trusted. We'll see how this goes. Um, if it's resolved, I may or may not even post it. If it's not resolved, I'm definitely going to post it. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. I'll add messages and we'll do all that kind of stuff. So, so yeah, I just wanted to add this in at the end. But yeah. Um, I take back everything that I said in the middle part. If it ever was like a reseal or anything like that, 
I do not think it was intentional. Troll and Toad has been amazing on all this. They sent me a replacement card. I didn't have to send my other card back. 100% uh, 5 out of 5. That's why I wanted to include them in the end here. And thanks for watching.